Can dupilumab benefit patients who don't quite achieve strict treatment success defined as IgA of zero or one? My name is Jonathan Silverberg, and on behalf of my co-authors, I would like to share the findings from clinical trials in patients treated with dupilumab to answer this question. The IgA, or Investigator's Global Assessment, is a tool that assesses representative lesional severity in atopic dermatitis. But there are several major limitations. First, it does not take into account the extent or body surface area of the atopic dermatitis lesions. In addition, it doesn't take into account the symptoms or quality of life disturbance in the disease. Therefore, we conducted this analysis to investigate whether dupilumab provides clinically relevant benefits beyond the strict IgA criteria of zero or one or clear or almost clear skin. We used a pooled post hoc analysis of two 16-week randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trials in adults with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis inadequately controlled with topical treatments. We found that dupilumab resulted in clinically and statistically significant benefits in many validated outcome measures. This is an example of a patient that started with an IgA of severe, right, an IgA score of four at baseline, but only ended up getting to mild, or an IgA of two, at week 16. Now you can appreciate that there's clearly improvement of the erythema and really all the other signs of the disease just by looking at the skin. But there are a couple of very small lesions left that are persistent. And so while I think any clinician would agree that this is a clinically meaningful improvement, technically this patient does not meet that IgA response of clear skin or almost clear skin because you have a couple of these persistent lesions left over. At the same time, this patient achieved other clinically meaningful endpoints in clinical signs measured by the eczema area and severity index, or EASY, score, symptoms such as pruritus and sleep loss, and quality of life. This spiderweb graphic shows the percentage of improvement from zero in the center to 100% at the external border. The closer to the external border, the higher the improvement. We see that this patient had a 61% improvement in body surface area, 72% improvement in the eczema area and severity index, 95% improvement in pruritus and sleep disturbance, 90% improvement in the dermatology life quality index, and 68% improvement in the patient-oriented eczema measure. This rainbow graphic shows individual baseline and endpoint values for this patient. And we can appreciate that in most endpoints, he moved from the orange zone to the green-blue zone. In our study, Dupilumab achieved clinically and statistically relevant benefits compared with placebo on multiple validated outcome measures, even in patients who did not meet the IgA zero or one criteria. Therefore, our research highlights the limitations of using the conventional IgA scale, particularly applying that strict IgA of zero or one endpoint, as it underestimates Dupilumab treatment benefits. 